Yo, what's up guys? Andy here, back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up reoccurring investments using Cash App for Bitcoin. Okay, so here we are on Cash App. If you're not familiar with Cash App, basically a mobile banking solution. It has a wallet where you can send and store money. It has a card and they will ship you a physical card that you can swipe and spend money that's here in your wallet. You can also add these boosts here which give you some pretty sweet discounts. This is the home screen where you can send and request peer-to-peer -peer payments. The investing tab and the history tab. So we wanna be on the investing tab. They have stocks and Bitcoin. And I'm gonna show you how to set up reoccurring investments for Bitcoin. Also remember this is day 460 of the buying $1 of Bitcoin every day experiment. So we'll do a little update on that towards the end of the video. So on the Bitcoin section, you kinda of got a chart up at the top. You can filter by week, month, year, or all time. Usually just like to go on weekly or monthly, you know, it gives you a little better picture of what's currently going on. There's a little bit of an about section, your activity, and it'll show your details like how much Bitcoin you own, uh, the current Bitcoin price and all of that. So what we want to do is we want to tap buy and you'll see a little drop down menu below where it says buy Bitcoin. So previously you could only do one time purchases. Let's go ahead and tap this button. And now it's gonna give you some more options. You can do daily, weekly, or every two weeks. And it says there's a $10 minimum for reoccurring purchases. So let's go ahead and select weekly. Then we'll select done. Go ahead and tap on $10. We'll tap next, scan my fingerprint, that is going to give us sort of the rundown here. It'll say confirm your weekly Bitcoin purchase of $10. Your weekly purchase will be made at the same time every Friday. So I'm making this video on a Friday. It's approximately 11.15 a.m. So once I tap confirm, it would begin to buy me $10 of Bitcoin every Friday around 11.13 a.m. So let's go ahead and confirm this. It's gonna say you bought $10 of Bitcoin. It'll say your next weekly purchase is scheduled for Friday, May 15th at 11, 13 a.m., which is next Friday, and I can tap done. So just like that, I've set up reoccurring investments weekly for Bitcoin. You can see my reoccurring investment right there. So there's how you do it. There's how you set up reoccurring investments for Bitcoin. Let me know if you guys have any questions on that down in the comments below, and I will try and answer those. Now let's go ahead and hop to the experiment. So I purchased $10, I normally purchase seven. So I'll just end up doing four dollars next week to kind of balance that out and we'll say it's day 463 so bitcoin exploding lately up 37 percent over the month 14 percent over the last week four percent on the daily it's at ten thousand dollars i have 639 dollars in here so let's go ahead and do the math on this 639 divided by 463 days equals a 1.38x on my investment. So I've been buying on average $1 every day for 463 days, just dollar cost averaging. And this is the outcome so far, 1.38x. So doing really well. We've got the halving coming up in three days. If you don't know what that is, you can search Bitcoin halving. It basically means the mining difficulty increases. So Bitcoin becomes harder to get, more scarce, which in theory should drive the price up. I think it's looking good. I think we're getting to the point where Bitcoin could begin to make some major moves. It's reaching the point where, you know, it was just down here in the 4,000 range. I think it hit like 3,700 and now it's at 10,000. So it basically like 2.5x in no time. It just, it's just gone straight up. And it's like one of those things where you just can't catch it. You want it to buy the dip, but then it's like, oh, it's at, 7,000, I'll wait till it's back down at 5,000, but it just goes, it just, just keeps going, you know? You really wish you were just buying all along. You don't know if there will ever be a dip. That's how it feels. But there you have it, day 463 of buying $1 of Bitcoin every day. Just gonna keep doing this experiment, keep dollar cost averaging. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions, I'll try and answer those. Definitely check out the Cash App playlist, some of the other tutorials and experiments. You can also get $5 free on Cash App if you sign up using my link. And you can get a free stock on Robinhood worth up to $500 if you use that link. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Okay. Don't lay your problems on the path.